Hey Odoers, welcome back home. In this video, we are going to deal with the reception report in Odo 70. Let's say we have received an order from the customer for 50 quantity of laptop bag. Due to the insufficiency of the quantity, we cannot deliver the item to the customer. So in this case, we should not miss out the pending sale order once the product is in stock. So in order to manage this issue, we can manage with the reception report. Reception report allows the suppliers to easily manage the pending sale orders. So once the product is replenished, we can directly assign the product to the pending sale orders. So let's chit chat on um, reception report in order 17. Let's hop into the configuration settings of the inventory module to manage with the reception report that would allow you to view and allocate the received quantities. Suppose you have just received an order for book from multiple customers. As we don't have sufficient quantity of the product, we cannot deliver the item to the customer. So once the product is back into the stock, we need to deliver the item to the customers, that is to the pending sale orders. To manage that case, you can use the reception report. So let's move on to the sales module to just create multiple orders from the customers. Here we can just create the orders where you can choose the customers. That is Elsa has just given an order for the product book with three quantity as we don't have sufficient quantity of the uh, product here. You can see that it will be indicated with a red color. Now let's confirm the order. And as you just move on to the delivery smart tab here, you can see that the product availability uh, will be set to not available. Now let's duplicate a uh, yeah, the quotation uh, that is the sale order to create the order for multiple customers. So let's duplicate that and let's change the customer name. The other customer is Eva and uh, she has given um, an order for five quantity of books. So let's repeat the process where you can see that uh, we cannot deliver the item because we don't have sufficient quantity. Now, we also have received an order from the customer, um, Johnny. So let's duplicate and let's change the customer. Here you can just search the customer. And he has just given an order for 10 quantity of book. So let's confirm that. So here we know that we don't have sufficient quantity. So as you just move on to the uh, book, here you can see that. The on-hand quantity of the book is zero because um, we don't have sufficient quantity. So as you just move on to the purchase tab, you can see the designated vendor for the product uh, is Bait Events, um, who is cool and loyal vendor. And now, as we have just received multiple orders from the customer and um, we have to just view and allocate the product uh, to the pending sale orders. So when you just move on to the inventory module, you can see that uh, a replenishment order will be automatically triggered under the operation tab. So here you can just search and here you can find that a replenishment order is created with forecasted quantity as 18, that is minus 18 because we have just, re have just received orders from multiple co uh, customers with the quantities of 3, 5 and 10. And altogether, we have just received um, an order for 18 quantity of product, which is once the product is back into the stock, we have to just deliver the item to the customers. So these are the pending one. That's why it's shown as minus 18. And here you can see that the minimum quantity is zero and maximum quantity is uh, zero. But to order is set to 18. This is because we know to order is equal to maximum quantity minus forecasted quantity. So as per the equation here, we have zero as the maximum quantity. So zero minus minus 18 will give you 18. That is positive 18. So the item that to, to order will be 18. So as you just click on order once, a purchase order will be created uh, with the designated vendor. So let's move on uh, to the purchase module to keep the product in the stock here you can see that we have just received a purchase order uh, with a replenishment um, rule and uh, let's move on and we can just receive the product in the stock so let's confirm the order but 
still we haven't received the item into the stock now let's move on to the um, products to receive so as you just uh, click on receive products we can just validate to keep the products in the stock so as we have just allocated the product here we can see that like as we have just keep the products in the stock we can directly allocate the stocked product into the pending sale orders that is directly from the RFQ uh, and uh, here you can see an allocation button where you can find that we have just received uh, the orders from different customers such as Elsa, Eva and Johnny. So either we can just assign this uh, item to the customers individually or by clicking on assign all we can uh, assign the product to all customers in a single click. So let's assign the product and if you want to just print the label you can just print that um and yeah here you can see the label that is uh, elsa has just given an order for book with three quantity and for each of the book will have a label and that label is shown over here so as you just print uh, the label for different customers you will get a um, different number of labels upon the yeah, the sale order that has made or the quantity that has uh, they demanded for. So let's move on to the audio platform itself. So as you just click on the icon here, you can see that as we have just click on the assign button, the product is reserved for Elsa. But here we haven't just reserved the items for the sale order so that that will be indicated as unreserved. Okay. So in order to reserve that, we have to just click on assign all. Then only we can just assign the product to the pending sale orders. So what happens is that if we don't click on assign uh, the items to the pending sale orders, just uh, consider another case we have just received another order from another customers. So if we don't reserve this product, we will be dire directly delivering the items in the stock to that customers. So in order to avoid such cases or such conflicts, we will be using reception reports. Now let's move on and let me assign uh, the uh, rest of the product. So let's uh, assign all. Okay, so currently we have just assigned everything. Now let's move on uh, to the, um, yeah, sale orders and here you can directly deliver the item and currently you can see that uh, the product is ready to deliver and the product is available and you can just validate the process okay so currently we have just delivered the item and you can see the detailed operations um, and other details such as the valuation and everything so let's move on to the reception report and let's deliver the rest of the item to the customers so here you can directly deliver yeah, this one we have just delivered. So just consider the uh, serial numbers that we are dealing with or you can just move on to the sales module and directly uh, deliver the item. So let me move on to the um, sale order of Johnny. And here we haven't delivered the item yet. And let's validate that. And currently we have delivered. So let's move on. Uh, and uh, here we have Elsa's uh, order and we haven't delivered the item and let's validate that currently you can see every order is, is in pretty state because we have just assigned um, the product to the pending sale orders and this is how we easily manage with the reception report so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video